Coach, was that a playoff type win for you guys? Yeah, it was. It was a great effort, uh, great character builder. We, you know, like the way the boys stuck with it there in the third. Um, but again, we we found a way. Uh, I was proud of the guys. I thought Anuska was excellent, and obviously we had some great efforts from from the big boys, and that's Maj, and obviously and and Ryder, and I thought Rod. You know, I defensively had some issues tonight, but I moved him back up on the wing there in the third, and it pays off for us. So, uh, good effort all around. Can you talk about the decision to? You're down a goal and you decide to put Roddy at forward and then place him with Shane Wright and Matthew Maggio. Yeah, it's just, you know, you get a feeling in the game and, and obviously he's uh, tremendous offensively and obviously then you put him with your, you know, you're probably your two best offensive guys and, and there you go. You get, you, get, uh, you get lucky sometimes, you get rewarded and, and they got a big goal for us. So, uh, you know, he's an outstanding player as a defenseman, but... He's also valuable as a forward, so we'll we'll, uh, we'll try and figure out where we're going to leave him. But uh, he's we're glad he's on our side. Is that a gut feeling, or is that I just need a goal? I just need a goal, and uh, we're down in a game, and I think that uh, you know we're comfortable with our back end providing offense, and and if he can help us up front, it gives us that much more of a, a deeper deeper look, and and uh, end up paying off tonight. How big were these two wins this week? Well, for us, obviously, we were, we were uh, struggling a little bit to, to find our way there for, for a second. A little more adversity in the season doesn't hurt once in a while, especially before the playoffs. And I thought um, it's just a huge win all around because huge weekend all around. We, you know, we just focus one game at a time. And then tonight was a, was a team goal just to get our 40th win. And, and as a group, we were able to do that. You're a competitive guy. You got a Michigan in you? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm a fiery guy for sure. But that was uh, was a good good goal there. I know their goalie wasn't too pleased with it, but uh, a good effort. Are you considering a move this year? If so, the Dan Jemis Real Estate Team is here to help. Find out why so many homeowners across Windsor and Essex County have put their trust in our team. Learn more at danjemis.com. Shane, congratulations on the win. What was the difference in your mind today? I think uh, you know, we, we played a full 60, obviously. Uh, the boys didn't give up there, obviously. You know, uh, you know give it up a lead in third is always a tough thing, but we battled back, we fought hard, we, we didn't give up, we didn't quit, and um, you we know, were really happy with you know, our compete there at the end and uh, you know, how we you know, fought back from you know, going down a goal there. Did you feel that you had to put the team on your back? You had three goals here tonight. Do you feel comfortable enough that you can take charge when the team needs a goal and you got that goal? For sure, yeah. I feel like uh, you know their third goal was my fault. You know, bad turnover, and um, you know I had to make up for it there. And um, you know, and it was, uh, uh, you know, I was playing well the game. It was, you know, moving well. My legs were, were feeling pretty good, and, um, and it was a matter of time before uh, you know, I had a chance to score. And um, you know, walking off that one went in there. How big are these two victories this weekend so far for you guys? Yeah, huge for us. Um, you know, being able to you know string two wins against uh, you know pretty good teams there, and um, you know get some some gutsy efforts from from a lot of guys in our room, and um, you really character uh, you know team wins, and um, obviously uh, you know really big you know four points as well. How are you feeling? You you missed a few weeks there. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, feeling good. Uh, definitely nice to uh, you know get a couple of games in a row here, get get into the swing of things again after uh, you know like you said missing a month of time. And um, yeah, it's uh, you know definitely kind of building my way in, but uh, you know feeling pretty confident right now, and um, you know happy with with how things are going. I mean, you're still kind of a new guy for this team, but I mean, can you talk about what it's like being on the bench? I mean, you give up that goal, you go down three two shorthanded. Usually, that's pretty deflating on a back to back short bench, that sort of thing. But what, what's sort of the mentality or what's sort of the vibe on the bench? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, just forget about it and move on. You know, we had, um, I think it was like, you know, eight, eight minutes left or whatever it was, eight and a half minutes left to score a goal to tie it, another goal to win. So uh, we knew we had a lot of time left. We knew we were, uh, you know, pushing hard on their end. And, um, you know, we, we knew we were creating a lot. And, um, you know, there was no quit in our bench, no quit uh, from the guys there. And um, you know, really, really proud of that for all of us. Mark moves Roddy back up again in the wing. I mean, what is, what is that like when you see him, you know, slide up to the wing? Yeah, it's fine. I mean, uh, you know, Ronnie accepts it. Obviously, he's a uh, you know defenseman by nature, and that's his you know, normal position. But um, you know, if Savvy asks him to, to play forward, play uh, you know, a couple of shifts on wing there, you know, he, he does it without complaint. Uh, doesn't uh, you know say where, and uh, just goes out there to do his job, and you know, picked a big assist on on Magic's goal there. He's gonna say he looks really comfortable when he <laughs> shifts up there. Yeah, yeah, he looks really comfortable. Obviously, he's uh, such a smart player. He moves so well with the puck, and um, he makes such great plays all the time, great poise and patience. And um, he's a fun guy to play with because he's always um, you know, making the right play at the right time and uh, you know, really creative with the puck as well. When Coach juggles the lines like that and says, okay, you're going with Maj and, and Roddy, you're going with Do you guys know, oh, okay, it's 
we got to get going here, right? Is that the message to you guys? Is that going to take it? For sure, yeah. I think uh, you know maybe we need a spark, and um, you know us three you know played well in the past, you know past games together. So uh, we knew we our our job was to go out and get a goal, and um, you know go you know build some momentum, and you know build some chances, and um, you know, I think we did a good job with that. And um, I think that's just kind of uh, you know nature of you know, our, our roster right now. Obviously, we have you know a really short bench, so um, it's kind of like uh, guys got to step up, guys got to um, you know are going to be mixed around a lot, you know different line combos and um, and whatever it is you know throughout the game. But um, we all just got to make sure we step up and um, you know, compete hard there. I mean, you know, they like to talk about the talent on this team, but can you talk about just the grind to come through this one tonight? Yeah, that was a gutsy effort. Um, obviously, uh, um, you know, it shows. You know, we we have a winning culture in this room and this and this team. You know, be able to you know fight back from you know going a goal down and in the third with you know not a lot of time left. Obviously, a shorthanded goal is you know, pretty deflating. But um, you know, really proud with you know how we responded, how we uh, you know didn't give up, didn't um, you know kind of sit back and uh, we're sorry for ourselves. We kept pushing, kept fighting, and um, eventually uh, you know pay off for us. Are you you guys were able to pull out that one? Yeah, uh, we're stoked. Obviously, Kitchener, they've been hot six straight wins, and uh, we know that they have a lot of firepower. And, and coming into the night, this is a huge, huge game for us. Uh, we need all the points we can get uh, to claim first, and that, that was a big goal of ours was to come in and uh, have a good start, and, and we need these two points and uh, not to settle for anything less. 40 wins on the season as a team. How, how big is that for this team? Yeah, I think it's a confidence booster for sure, just to kind of show uh, how good we are and how much we've accomplished, but uh, we're, we're still not close to done. I mean, obviously you want to build some momentum heading into playoffs, and, and I think we started that these last two games, and uh, we want to take off from here and have a good run. So Coach decides to put you on a line with Shane Wright and Roddy Dionisio in the third period. Um, just talk about, is, is there much conversation on the bench with you guys, or it's just go out and you know what the other guys are going to do? Yeah, no, I mean, obviously, they're, they're both super skilled guys. And, uh, yeah, you kind of trust them to make the right play. And uh, Roddy, obviously, he's, uh, he's probably one of the most skilled players in, in the OHL this year. And uh, he just, uh, he's fun to play with. And, and Shane, obviously, so uh, defensively uh, responsible and obviously a uh, great talent, great talent, too. So uh, going out there with them, it, it makes the game uh, a lot of fun. You got the game time goal, and then you try the Michigan. <laughs> It didn't work, but yeah. you guys still scored. Talk about that play. Uh, yeah, so uh, I had a little space, thought I'd uh, try to go behind the net. And um, yeah, I don't know. I, I thought that I'd try to get it up. I, th I thought I could have. And uh, when I didn't get it up, I, I knew that uh, everyone would, would kind of have their eyes on me. So that would kind of leave whoever was net front wide open. And uh, I know that trying the Michigan, I've tried it a few times this year. And uh, every time I have, I know that everyone kind of just uh, gets puck eyes, so uh, I knew that, that guys would come to me and kind of just threw it to a spot, and obviously uh, Shane with a great finish there. 49 goals, 103 points on the season. Just talk about what you've accomplished so far this year. Yeah, I, uh, I mean, obviously it's great to, to hit that accolade, but um, I think it's uh, it's just come from me trying to play the right way every, every night, and uh, I know that when I came back from New York, they were really stingy on – uh, it's not really the points. Uh, it's, it's more the way that you play, the way that you lead. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, you have a team that uh, we could see going all the way. So uh, that, I think that's been my main focus is, is getting this team to the Memorial, Memorial Cup and um, avenging that finals. And if I think I, I play that way and I have that mindset as opposed to caring about the points, then uh, the, the points are just going to come. I mean, you guys go through that three-game losing streak, now you get back to back to back. Was there a little bit of swagger lost during that three games? Um, I, I think maybe a little bit, but I think we, we battled a lot more than, than uh, people think in those three games. I mean, obviously, uh, we had some tight games and uh, losing games with, with a minute, two minutes left, and that was definitely uh, tough, and uh, we definitely had a long look in the mirror, but I know that we were really banged up. I mean, uh, I was playing with ammonia. Uh, I know a few other guys were sick there, uh, guys nurse, nursing some injuries there. So, uh, yeah, I think we were definitely a little banged up last weekend, and um, we, we wanted to come into this weekend and, and really show that we're back and, and get these four points. All right.
Um, as fans, we want to know if you can actually hear us in the stands. Yeah, we. Uh, I, I've talked to a lot of guys in the league this this year and uh, going to the finals last year. Um, I've, I've talked to some guys and uh, they say that th this place is so scary for people coming in and uh, we have the best fans in the league. It's, it's not close and every time we, we have a home game, uh, we get up for it. I mean, it shows in our home record. We love to play in front of our fans. We're, we think they're the best, they're the loudest in the league and it makes it scary for people to come in here and try to play the Spitfires in front of their fans. So uh, I don't think we, we could have uh, had the record we did at home without them and uh, we couldn't be more thankful.